Strictly Strings, Book One, Page 20, Jingle Bells and Mozart Serenade, our string orchestra arrangements. These are arrangements because first we'll learn an A part and then a B part, but it's different for the different instruments. So you're gonna hear me play three parts for each song. For Jingle Bells, first I'll play the A part, which is the melody for everyone or the main tune. Then you'll hear me play the viola, violin, B part, which is a harmony part. Lastly, you'll hear me play a B part for cello and bass, which is the bass line. What's cool is you can play exactly along with me and have a unison practice, or you can decide to play the B part while I play the A part, creating a special harmony or mixture of bass line and melody. It makes it a lot of fun. First, let's tune and check our strings. A string. D string. G string, C string, E string. All right, let's have some fun with this. So as we set our metronome, one of the tricky things with this song will be to try to keep your eye only on the A part and do not be deceived by the B part. All right. So bring your instrument into that playing position, check your bow hold, get your F sharp ready. And if you get lost, try to find your next place to jump in. A one, two, ready, go. Good. Keep counting to four. Think about the note names while you play. Is your bow going the right way? How's your bow hold? Next, violin and viola B part harmony. A one, two, ready, go. Okay, here we go, the bass line. Cello and bass, you can set down your bow for your pizzicato, or you can hold on to it, it's up to you. And now this is what the cellos and the basses are doing. Violins, you could play the A part or the B part, violas, A part or B part. This is what the cello and bass have for their B part. And a one, two, three, four. Very 
good. Mix and match as you see fit. Let's go on. If you want to take a little stretch and relax, that's great. We'll go back to using our bow cellos and basses for the Mozart Serenade. Now this song is again a three-part song. First I will play the A part melody, which all parts have. Then following that will be the violin viola B part harmony. And last will be the cello B part bass line, which is just a little bit different. Again, we set our metronome to about 92. And if you do it on your own, you can go slower or faster, but this is a nice medium speed. One, two, and a Mozart serenade. Let's do the B part for violin and viola. And a one, two, B part. <laughs> the cello bass bass line the B part for the cellos and bass one two and B part cello bass <laughs> forget to mix and match. Rewind to where I'm playing a harmony and you play the melody or I play the melody and you play a harmony. It's a great way to hear two parts at once. Happy practicing. <laughs>